Hi friends, welcome back to the Hippo Campus Clubhouse, a fun and inclusive SEL-based storytelling podcast for kids. Erin here, and today we'll explore what it's like to begin our journey into reading. We'll meet Rocket, a young pup who's interested in reading, but doesn't yet know how to begin. That is, until a chance meeting with an eager little bird helps Rocket discover the alphabet and its wonderful sounds. Will Rocket begin to explore learning to read? Let's find out by getting comfy cozy and ready to open our hearts and minds. We do that by putting our hands on our heart, closing our eyes, and taking a big sniff through our nose and now pushing it out through our lips. Perfect, now we're ready to listen to How Rocket Learned to Read, written by Tad Hills. How Rocket Learned to Read. Rocket loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks, and he loved to listen to the birds sing. Every fall morning, after chasing leaves, Rocket would lie down in his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There, he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rocket. Ah, my first student. Wonderful, she sang. Rocket was confused. A student? I'm not a... Oh, but if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, then you must be my student. Rocket found it hard to argue with this bird. As the bird hopped up to a sign posted to the tree that Rocket was laying under, she chirped. I am so happy that you saw my sign. It says class starts today. Oh, yes, I can see it, Rocket said. But I don't know how to read. The bird waved a wing. You can't read? Fantastic. Welcome to my classroom, Rocket interrupted. But I just came here for a nap. Oh, no, 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 no. There will be no napping in my class, declared the bird. Except, of course, during nap time. Oh, well, then I can just take a nap over here, then, said Rocket, as he walked over to a bush nearby. I have had a very busy morning. The bird replied, Oh, and not to worry. I'll be around every day, until the weather turns, of course. As Rocket lay over by the bush, away from the tree, he breathed in the crisp air while the little yellow bird hung her big banner that had every single letter of the alphabet. Ah, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet, she marveled, where it all begins. She then hopped up on a branch and opening up a book, the bird began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster who'd lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lively voice across the yard and straight into the bush where Rocket was trying to nap. At first, Rocket was disturbed. But before long, he found himself captivated. To Rocket, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of the fall. It was exciting as chasing leaves, and he closed his eyes and began to listen to every word. As Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush, the bird read, he felt something familiar. Then she stopped. Rocket waited. Was it the bone, he wondered. But still, there was silence. Uh, 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 was it the bone, he called out to the bird. But still, 
more silence. Oh, ex excuse me, was it the boon? As Rocket got up from the bush and walked towards the tree. But suddenly, he wasn't walking, he was rushing. And as he jumped up to the tallest branch, he asked, Well, was it? But the little bird was gone. The next morning, Rocket went back to the same tree and arrived very early. At last, the little yellow bird appeared. Oh, hello! How wonderful to see you in class, she chirped. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are well rested. <clears throat> I'd like to hear the end of the story now, please, said Rocket. Hmm, that seems like a fine way to start the day, chirped the bird. She gave Rocket a name tag and then began to read. Every day, Rocket returned to the little yellow bird's classroom at the tree. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter. And until he had learned all of the wondrous, mighty, and gorgeous alphabet and its sounds. Together they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spelled the sounds they heard around them. With a G and many R's, they spelled out Mr. Barker's dog's growl. Grrrr, said Mr. Barker's dog. G R R R R R R R R R said Rocket. Then they spelled the sound of the wind, which had begun to grow colder by the day. Soon they were spelling words like F A L L, fall, for the gusty time of year, and R E D, for red the color of the leaves. And each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds. She read stories about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Then one day, the weather turned and the letter banner disappeared. I see you again in the glorious spring the bird sang. As she flew into the wintry sky, she called, Don't forget, dear Rocket, words are built one letter at a time. As the days that passed grew shorter and the leaves fell from the trees, the grass became crunchy and soon Rocket's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and practiced his letters by writing them as he ran through the snow. All throughout winter, Rocket thought about the bird's sweet chirp while he sounded out words like dig, D-I-G, and wind, W-I-N. D and cold C O L D. Then he made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, E M M A Emma, and hi there, Fred F R E D. In fact, Rocket spelled everything like sun, S-U-N, and melt, M-E-L-T, which was what was happening to the snow and ice around him. When the snow was gone and Rocket spelled mud, M-U-D, as he played within it, he knew that spring as it always does, had returned. The breeze blew warmer, the grass grew greener, and underneath the tree that he had first met the bird, a sign appeared. 
It read, Class starts tomorrow. Early the next morning, Rocket rushed to his classroom under the tree. As he waited, he watched his tail move back and forth and spelled WAG. W A G. Soon the little yellow bird had arrived. Ah, my star student, she sang. How wonderful to see you, and I can tell by your waggy tail that you are ready for class. On the sign, posted on the tree that day, she had written, Welcome back, Rocket. With her, she had brought back stacks and stacks of books. Then together, they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read about picnics in the warm sun. And they read about Buster, the lucky dog who found his bone underneath the lilac bush. And when they were done with the books, they read them again and again. And A-G-A-I-N again. The end. So it seems, friends. While Rocket's curiosity originally leads him to wonder if the dog in the story finds his bone, as it turns out, it was Rocket who found both a friend and a teacher in his chance meeting with the little yellow bird. Wasn't it interesting how the yellow bird helped Rocket discover the alphabet and how each letter makes its own unique sound? And once Rocket connected other letters and their sounds on his own, reading became easier and easier while he practiced. I'll bet that like Rocket, you are also learning to remember the sounds of each letter in the alphabet and working on the words those sounds create when reading. And like Rocket, might find that sometimes it's fun, but sometimes it's tricky. We all can find that learning something new can be a bit challenging at first, but as long as we believe in ourselves and let that confidence keep us going as we practice, we learn to get better and better each and every time. Think about when you learn to ride a bicycle or build with Legos or even jump up and down. Once upon a time, you found those things tricky, but look at you now. The same goes for writing and reading, and like your ability to jump high in the air, you'll soon be flying through books and writing your own stories all on your own. And when you do, be sure to have a grown-up help you send me your amazing stories so that we can share them here on our podcast. You can even read them aloud yourself if you wish. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this story. And if you did, have a grown-up click the link in the show notes now. For more stories like this one, be sure to subscribe and visit our website at hippocampusclubhouse.com. Before we go, I want to say a big thank you to our Ko-Fi and Patreon supporters. Without you, our free story time wouldn't be possible, and every little bit helps our story time to reach kids all around the world at no cost. Today's affirmation, or what I like to call a commitment to ourselves is, the more I try, the better I become, because I am capable of anything when I believe in myself. Let's repeat that together either out loud or in your mind, whatever feels comfortable to you. Are you ready? Let's go. The more I try, the better I become. Because I am capable of anything when I believe 
in myself. Brilliant! Feel free to repeat that any time you want today because your body believes whatever you tell it. So be sure to remind it how amazing you are. Until next time, remember to keep telling your story with an open heart while listening to others with an open mind. Just like Rocket and the Little Yellow Bird do.